this video, we're going to take you through how to produce a quote letter in Build Exact. We'll start by looking at how to configure the quote letter sections, how to save and select different layouts, and lastly, we'll look at sharing and previewing options of your quote letter. Now, to begin, in the estimate, I want to go ahead and click on the quote letter tab. And when we first land here, what we're going to see on the left hand side here is that the quote letter is going to be made up of a variety of sections. So essentially to go through and configure it, all you need to do is click into each of the sections. It'll take you through a few examples here, starting with the cover page. At the top here, we have the ability to change the template. So we've providing a, a couple different templates to really let you choose which one you think is going to be uh, best for your business. I'll use this one as an example. And of course, if we scroll down, we can always preview the page that we're editing as well. And from here, I have some additional options, like I maybe don't want to show the logo, maybe I don't want to show the description, uh, or perhaps I want to use a different background image in here, which obviously I can do by clicking the edit function. From there, we hit the text-based sections, such as the letter and the terms and conditions. And the idea here essentially is that you can, in this section, put in your respective letter. Uh, to begin, there's a couple things I want to take you through. The first thing is to touch on these little bracketed items here. Uh, these are what we refer to as placeholders in BuildExact. And the idea there is that BuildExact can actually pull information from other areas within your estimate to automatically populate the letter here. So as an example, if I scroll down in the preview, you can see that under the customer name, it's filling in the customer name here, so automatically. But we can take that a step further. And I might say something like, here is the quote letter or, and I'm going to go ahead and insert additional placeholders by clicking this button here. Might say works location. That works location is pulling through from the estimate details. And I might use one more here, like the quote total, which is basically just pulling in the total as it sits in the estimate costings here. And from there, we have a variety of ways that you can continue to format this, pulling in bullet points, changing the text. Um, uh, bolding or italicizing or highlighting or again doing what everything else you need to do to basically present a letter to your client. Now, one other thing we want to talk about here, and this is really all across build exact, but what we have is once you've built your quote letter, what you can do is if you use that quote letter uh, for uh, across a variety of quote letters, you can actually go ahead and save that as a preset. So then the next time you need that particular body of text, instead of having to type it up again, you can actually go ahead and actually uh, access your save presets and basically build exact will paste in that preset for you. And again, that's a great reason to use these presets because then placeholders rather, because then build exact will automatically fill that relevant information in for that particular quote. Moving along, we get into the quoted items section. And this is a really important section in the quote letter, just because this is really where we can begin to show a bit of the breakdown as to what's been included, as well as how we can start to show cost breakdowns as well. So to begin, right now, we're showing the category and the category cost. And from here, we have the ability using these little tick boxes here to basically turn on more or less items. So as an example, I might want to show the quoted items for each category. And so therefore, everything with a quantity and cost will pull through with a further breakdown. And again, essentially here, I can go ahead and go further by showing the assemblies. I can show quantities, unit of measurements, item totals, and so on and so forth. So again, you have a lot of flexibility here to really uh, decide what level of detail is appropriate, including potentially even removing costs. So there's no costs going to be presented here. Or you may even decide that actually you don't want this section at all. So you can go ahead and even turn the entire section off as well. So a lot of flexibility there again, as you work through quote letter to make the customizations that you want. But from there, um, the rest of the sections are largely the same, really just going through, being able to change the definitions of items. And from there using tick boxes and toggles, the ability to change it while previewing it as you work through. Definitely worth noting as well that you can change the order of the uh, sections as well. And I do that by simply hovering over and clicking on these six little dots. And then from there, I can then move them around. The only exception to that, though, is we do need to leave the cover letter there, whereas everything else, absolutely, we can change around to really create whatever order we think looks best for our quote letter. Now, once we've gone through and made all of our different uh, configurations across our sections, 
what we can do is we can actually go ahead and save that as a layout. And so a layout is basically just all those predetermined configurations. So if you look at that quote letter by the time you're done and think, yep, look, that's a pretty common example of how I might do you know, that particular type of quote letter for that type of project, then you can actually go ahead and save this as a layout. And then from there to access that layout uh, uh, another time is when you first access the quote letter section, you'll just select the layout here and essentially you'll have your layouts already saved there. Now, I will make a quick mention here that the one we're working on is really based off of the Build Exact customizable layout, and that's what we're seeing over here in all these different sections. This is the most versatile and arguably uh, the most visually appealing uh, quote letter we provide, but we do also provide this print-only layout, uh, which is very applicable if you want to export the quote letter out and then edit it further in Word or and in Excel. So if you're looking for that, definitely worthwhile to check this one out. Uh, otherwise, for the vast majority of people, they'll basically base off this customizable layout, save their own layouts, and that's the one they'll use moving forward. Now at this stage, once we're ready to actually get the quote out to the client, we have a couple options. First thing we can do is go ahead and hit the print button here. And what this will do is basically render out the document into a printable friendly version. Uh, and obviously it's when I say print, it's not going to literally come off your printer. It's really just stitching this document together into a PDF. This is also a great way to preview the document as well. I know many people will want to sort of take a bit of a holistic view of what the entire thing looks like. So here we can see the cover letter. Further down, we get the specifications and inclusions. From there, we have the quoted items. We get our allowances and then the quote summary. Now, again, all of these different areas um, is really just pulling from all the different sections prior to this. Uh, prior to this, So uh, if you haven't built your specifications that, or you haven't elected your allowances, I definitely re recommend checking out the videos on those topics. And they'll take you through how you can do that as a part of your estimating process. And really, again, at the quote letter, we're really just pulling all that information together into the quote. Of course, another way we can get the quote letter to your client is also by clicking the share button here. And in this workflow and this option, we have a couple of different things we can do here. Where firstly, we can provide the client either the standard workflow, which basically means that the client can then just view it and download the quote, whether you send it via email or share it into the client portal, which I'll talk about how to do next. Or you also have the ability to get the client to digitally accept the document. So they'll be able to view it, download it, and virtually accept that document, where then you'll receive both an email and an in-app notification letting you know the client has accepted it. Regardless of which flow you choose, though, we go to the recipient section, where again, we can go ahead and decide, um, do we want to share it into the client portal? Um, from there, we also have the ability to share via email and send yourself a copy as well if you'd like. And lastly here, we also have the email section. So this is really just, again, going to let you build the email that's going to accompany uh, the attachment with it. And again, you can also save and use presets here. And of course, lastly, on the attachment section, this is where you can, when you send the client, uh, when you send the client the quote letter, you have the ability to then attach anything else that you may have already uploaded into BuildExact. This is just going to pull through documents and information you've already uploaded into the documents widget. And of course, at this stage, we can also upload any additional items, which will then go along with the quote letter to your client. And that's how to produce a quote letter. Mm -hmm.